Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsplot.com and in this video I will show you how to draw a vertical line to a GG plot when the x-axis is consisting of a date range. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of our studio a new data frame object appears. And when you click on this data frame object, a new window is opening and in this window you can see the structure of our data frame. So as you can see, our data consists of many rows and two columns, whereby the first column is specifying a date range and the second column is specifying the values corresponding to each date. So if we want to draw a GG plot 2 plot of these data, then we need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to apply the functions of the ggplot2 package. So in lines 11 to 12, I'm creating a basic ggplot2 plot without any vertical lines. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of our studio, a new plot object appears. And we can also draw this plot in R by running line 13 of the code. And after running this line of code, you will see that at the bottom right of our studio, a new plot appears. And as you can see, this plot is not containing any vertical lines. So let's assume that we want to draw two vertical lines at specific dates of our date range on the x-axis. Then we can apply the codes that you can see in line 15 and 16 of our R code. So in line 15, we are specifying the two dates at which we want to draw vertical lines. And we are converting these date characters with the sDate function to date objects. And then we store these two dates in the data object dates vline. So if you run line 15 of the code, you will see that another data object appears at the top right of R Studio, which is called dates vline. And then in line 16 of the code, we are checking at which position of our data these two dates appear. And we can do that by applying the which function, as you can see in line 16 of the code, and by specifying the in operator. So if you run this line of code, our dates vline object will be updated. And now we can add two vertical lines to our plot that we have created before, which is called ggp, by applying the geom vline function, as you can see in lines 19 and 20 of the code. So if you run lines 18 to 20 of the code, you will see that at the bottom right of our studio, our plot is updated. And this time our plot is shown with two vertical lines on top of the plot. So in this video, you have learned how to draw two vertical lines to the x-axis of a ggplot2 plot. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. In the description of this video, you will also find the R programming code that I have used in the video, so you could copy it from there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming tutorials to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.